how to make a da, 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 a pouch. Very simple. This is not my name, obviously. Um, it's my brother's, so I made it for him. And for wondering, oh my gosh, um, how do you get two colors? And a lot of people get this curl apart or curl color surge or nail for explosion. So when they're double sat, they're two satted colored paper and they're both um different colors on each side. No, I do not have that. It's too expensive. So I made my own. You need two pieces and I glue them together. So for this craft, you'll need paper. And if you want to do this, you'll need a glue stick. So all you technically have to do, if you just want it to be one color, is to glue it. That's all you do with folding. So first, you just glue, get your your glue. Hopefully your glue's good. Mine's like, bleh. So it's on my sand. You just kind of put it everywhere, especially the corners. And it's like how it's purple because you actually can see it. So, um, um. So, oh. so I'm out of glue obviously. So I'm gonna see if this is enough glue. Is that in the way? Yeah, it is. So you see that I kind of did some interesting gluing, and then you put this on top of it. You just do this. It looks really bad, but you put them, and you kind of move the glue around and put them together where they're supposed to be. Like where they're supposed to be glued down and stuff. So, one side's blue, one side's green. So, now I get to my folding. Now you just, if you want, it first is your first step, is you have to fold this. That depends. Do you want this, this part to be blue? For this part to be blue? Or that part to be green? And I'm going to make... I think I'm going to make this for my dad, so, um, you first you do your folding, oh, well, let's decide, so you fold right here, now I can do this so you can see it better when I'm folding, so you fold it, if you don't have much paper you don't have to do double sided, I just think it's kind of cool, so then you fold, now you can go higher, and you just fold it just like that, and then you fold the other side. This is how to make a pouch. This is actually from Crayola.com. This craft, so not everyone just goes in Crayola got, got, oh, got Tom. Yeah, it's cool. And then you put this through. They have video crafts. I showed me how to make this, so I'm showing you. And so. Here's a really long pouch, so if you, like, somehow taped it, like, right here, be, like, really long one. But, yeah, that's not how I do it. The Crayola people obviously do the same as I do. You fold it right here. Not all the way up, but almost. And then you just put it under the flap. And... Voila! That is how to make a pouch. And if you think, oh my gosh, that pops out, ew, you can obviously just put it on top and um, tape it with scotch tape or whatever kind of tape brand you have. <laughs> so I normally would put it through, but the edges look bad. So I've never actually tried doing this, but I am in this video. So, that's, and then there's, it looks kind of weird like right that, but then you just go like this, and the inside is completely a pouch. And here's, the, I'm going to show you, since this video isn't very long, um, you, I'm going to do this, with, I'm going to write every name in my family, including mine, <laughs> I'm going to glue on a magnet and put it on a refrigerator. So here are some designing ideas. I use sometimes just these fabrics. I feel like using it. So I'm gonna write down on it. I 
I said a mazen. And you can do kind of like this. I did a mazen. Okay, instead of a mazen, a mazen. That's what I'm doing. Hope you enjoyed. Bye, the craft crew. Woo, 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 woo.